am so excited to announce that we Twin Lakes kids are having an ice cream block party on Sunday, September 27th at 1 p.m. out on the baseball field. It will be a safe and socially distanced event. Each family will have their own set of games and activities. RSVP at tlc.org slash kids. We can't wait to see you. Hi friends, guess what I have? That's right, I have ice cream. Well, I got ice cream because I wanted to practice scooping it for my ice cream sundae party. So, I have a spoon to practice. <sighs> oh. Man, this ice cream is a lot harder than I thought. <sighs> I think I need a different spoon. Do you guys see anything I can use? Perfect, a real ice cream scooper. Let's try it. Mm. Oh. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard. <sighs> this isn't working either. I have an idea. A shovel! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, man, this ice cream is so hard. Mm. Well, this is not working. I think I'll have to wait till the ice cream gets a little bit softer. Hey, it's Ollie. Ho, ho. Having some trouble, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. I am practicing scooping some ice cream for my ice cream party. But nothing is working. It's so hard. That does sound hard. It's true. I have a story about someone else with a hard thing to do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Oh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you want to hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan, and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, 
Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph was in a hard place, but he trusted God's plan to see him through. Wow, friends, wasn't that an awesome lesson? I learned that even when things get tough and hard, God is still with us. Just like I'm having a hard time scooping this ice cream, God is still with me and he still has a plan. Just like Joseph had a lot of hard things going on, he still trusted God and knew that God was with him and working with him. God always has a plan for us. Speaking about plans, my ice cream party plan is going well, but I think I should wait a little bit longer for my ice cream to soften. While we wait, let's worship. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he does. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know, oh, that's what I know. That's what I know, oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season, yeah. his plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 no. His love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are bad. A great worship song, you guys. Now it's time to learn our Bible verse. I'll say it first and then you repeat it. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's do that again. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Awesome job. Now it's time to pray. Let's shake out our hands on the count of three. Let's clap them together. One, two, three, clap. Fold your fingers, close your eyes, think about God. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for being with us whenever we go through hard times. And thank you for always having a plan for us. I pray that we have a great rest of our day and that my ice cream softens so I can make some ice cream scoops. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Great job, you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Here's everything we've got going on at Twin Lakes Kids. Check it out. Send us your best jokes to be featured on Silly Saturday. Go to tlc.org slash kids to submit. We would love to see you at Twin Lakes Kids Camp. This camp runs monthly every Monday and Thursday from 4 to 6. The purpose of this ministry is to assist families who are distance learning this fall. To sign up, go to tlc.org kids. 
find us on Facebook and Instagram where we post new things every day. Devos, worship songs, this or that Thursday, and silly Saturday. Check it out at Twin Lakes Kids. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes Kids families. If there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org kids to send us yours.